What's cracking, gamers? It's your boy Daily Productions here, back with Basement Gang. Basement Gang. Today we're gonna be playing a little bit more Hyven Field. We are doing the Battle of Amiens in uh, the French territory. We are right now playing as the Germans, but I'm thinking we might switch sides. And I've already been shot headfirst into the water. Whoa! That artillery looks so cool. What? Oh, I love that. Oh, that's sick. I don't think we have any artillery of our own. Jeez. All right, either way, I think we're going to start off as the Germans here. Well, we are starting off as the Germans here. Uh, and we might switch over to the British if the battle doesn't go too long. Let us see. Ah, I don't know why I always do French accent. Even when I play as Germans. We are Vichy France. Although that's World War II. Uh, whatever. So we do start off with a distinct disadvantage in the first part of this battle as we only have one territory and the British right now have three. But it seems like our boys up there, if you look at the meme map, are actually uh, plowing their way through. There we go. I'll try my best to support the best I can. We got one kill. They're all hiding in those bunkers and we got to go through no man's land in order to get to them. That is the treachery of attacking World War One. Uh oh, that didn't kill that guy. Uh oh. My car 98K is failing me. Ah, go, go, go. Oh, oh, okay. That's some artillery hitting me. Wow. All right, just barely lived through that one. Oh my goodness, this not being a one-shot kill is killing me. It's not killing the enemies, it's killing me, dude. All right, there we are. All right, I'm gonna push up and then drop a medic bag as we get closer here. Let's take out our Webley revolver that I got off a British soldier. And hold the corner, boys. We hold these corners. Oh, there's a trooper. Eh, there we are. There we are. Whoo! Had to aim a little bit down for that one. All right, boys. Hold out. Come on. Oh, that was kind of clumsy. <laughs> oh, we almost have it. Come on. No! Don't lose it. We are losing it. That's because of these machine gunners over here. Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, shoot. Didn't quite manage to catch that. All right, I think we're gonna give the Martini Henry a try. I believe this is a one-shot kill weapon, and given the fact that we aren't seeing too many enemies, that uh, slow reload rate shouldn't affect us too much unless we happenstance upon a large group of enemies, in which case we're kind of donezo. But so far, we've only been taking them on 1v1 style. So this should be okay. Oh, the iron sights on this are terrible. Oh, yeah, that's that that's that one shot thing. I'm gonna keep forgetting about that. You have to load a new new slug every single time. Ugh. The iron sights on this man. Poo poo! All oh, these iron sights are so bad. Alright, we're gonna try pushing in here. Alright, wait. No! Oh my god, I can't even do covering fire for my boys up there. It's just too far away. Hold up. No! The iron sights on this are trash, man! Absolute garbo poo poo. No! How are these all missing? Ah, that's a lot of enemies. Oh god, I ran right into that. No man's land is tough. All right, we're gonna try out this really bizarre French machine gun, which I'm decently sure is not era accurate. I don't know. I picked up kind of a sketchy World War One weapon configuration from the workshop, and like half of these weapons are Victorian era, but like were kind of phased out by by mid world war one or like didn't even make their way into world war one and then there are some like blatantly world war two weapons in here i'm pretty sure so a, a pretty sloppily made world war one collection it's not attached to the mod or anything it was just i googled world war one collection and this is what came up uh so you know like everything on this channel it's a little scuffed all right let's push over to the right it's not even it's so inaccurate. Just laying down help. I just got absolutely head popped. Oh my god, he destroyed me. All right, I'm gonna be honest, boys. We're down to 87 troopers. They still have 203. Uh, this map is tough to be the Germans on. This map is real tough. So we're definitely gonna be doing the British defense so I can actually feel good about my performance. <laughs> it's gonna be easier i will give the germans more of an advantage when we're not playing as them though oh there we go finally got some kills 
Yeah, we'll, we'll give the, the Germans a bit of an advantage when I'm playing as the British in terms of troopers. I probably should have given myself that advantage given just how difficult this map actually is. But hey, you live, you learn, you love, you laugh, you live, you, you hang that up on your dining room wall so everyone can know you live, laugh, love. It's a beautiful cyclical cycle of loving, laughing, and living here. Oh, we can see where the artillery is emitting from over there. I, I see a bunch of troopers. I don't know why I'm taking pot shots at them. I'm just desperate to do anything except cross no man's land, but I think it's something we have to do here. I'm going to fire a little bit as I go to this tree. All right, we knocked him down. I finally got the kill on that guy. Wow, the inaccuracies. Okay, go to the rock now. No, no. Please don't shoot me again. Please don't shoot me again. <laughs> okay, we lived. We are live. We are live. Yes, we are live. That is proper English. We are alive. Okay, there we are. Do a little cover fire where all our med kit heals us up here. There we go. Anyone else want a taste of the pie? Uh, buddy boy? Uh, we're down in them a little bit here. God, this thing's so bad. <laughs> This arrow of weaponry is just not where it's at, dude. Oh, why is it so bad? Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to support these guys who are moving up. Come on, boys. I got you. We're finally making a dent in the British Army. I just don't know if it's enough. I just really don't know if it's enough. They have so many more troopers than us. All right, there we go. Those Germans are kind of up there. I'm going to push up. Oh, I would kill for a grenade right now to just lob it over here. Oh, we're finally back to where we started. Go in. Go off, boys. Yes. All right. We can push to the flag. With these boys, we might be able to make it. You've also got the weird French weapon. Ow. Not good. Eight health. Oh, God. Reload. Reload. He just sabered that man. He just took out his saber and KO'd him. Holy cow. The disrespect. Oh, there's another trooper right there. Hello. Oh, my God. Ah, I finally died. And we only have four troopers left. Three, two, one. Wow, those guys dropped fast. We ended up getting 31 kills, five deaths. Uh, we picked it up towards the end. The beginning was very tough. Let's switch sizes and go over to the British. All right, boys. I've rewired things, so it is very much so in the favor of the Germans here. I think it's only fair. Um, again, the weapons are really weird in this expansion pack. They make no sense. I'm pretty sure whoever made this... Oh, this is also the modern Lee Enfield, not even the vintage one. Whatever. We'll just roll with it. It's got a modern iron sights on it. I, I don't know who made this or why. <laughs> it's just, you know, as a history major, it is a little bit of an oof. Oh my god, though, but the Lee Enfield's so nice. Compared to the Car 98K and the, the Martini Henry we were using before. <laughs> Such an odd assortment of weapons that we've got going. Oh my god, here comes the Germans. Here comes the boom, baby. Oh my goodness. And they do have numerical advantage this time over us. That is very evident. Oh! Oh, they got on the flank. They did a little flank rooney there. Gosh dang, dude. Gosh dang. Whew! All right. Yikes. Oh my god, ow. Okay, we're gonna back it up and get into one of these buildings, these blown out buildings. All right, hello. Hello, governor, I'm British now. Did you not know that, gov? There we are, there's some respawns for us. All right, beautiful. Oh, watch out for that guy. Come on, guys, wait, whoa, 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 focus up here. This guy literally just hammering into you there. Oh, what is my team doing? Bunch of idots, dude. Bunch of absolute idiots. He's got the French gun. We got him. Good. Not to worry. By the way, the Germans do have the Lee Enfield and stuff like that in their arsenal. Yep. See, I just got killed by one. I was just restricting myself uh, to not using any British weapons. I did use a French weapon, though. Um, simply because, I don't know, I wanted to be, like, somewhat lore accurate to the real world and actual history. You know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's pretty clear that this is just completely it it's Ravenfield this is not supposed to be you know this is this is not something like hell let loose or you know some actual historically accurate game this is Ravenfield get off my back man I have like PTSD from from all the mean comments of like when I'm playing totally accurate battle simulator and like I spawn in a guy with like a, a BAR for a World War One battle and they put on their glasses they go 
become it actually. Um, BARs were kind of a prototype weapon at that point. They just weren't really that active. And you get, you know, the snot-filled monitor, and they're, like, just so annoying. <laughs> it's amazing how people, you know, get all uppity about historical accuracy when you're playing a game called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It's, it's absolutely nutty. It's absolutely crazy. I, and, I mean, you can always tell they're on the younger side. It, it just kind of comes with the territory. I was that way, too, when I was a kid, you know, watching all these, like, YouTube videos of history diet, you know, digested and things like that into a more easily read format and things like that. It's not until you actually go to college and you, you get your history degree that you realize it's fun to do alternative history sometimes and sometimes it's okay to not take history seriously because it makes it more fun and it's more unique to see the interesting sides of history. You, you, you know, you get a little tired of slogging through, you know, 500 page textbooks that go way too in depth onto one battle of World War One, one battle. It, you know, or or when you do like the July Crisis for three weeks straight, digesting it day by day by day. <laughs> you know, you you start to appreciate the fun, wacky parts of history where where you, people just don't care as much. You know. But uh, I do understand that the, the, the people who sometimes watch my videos and are just like overly critical of historical accuracy and like getting all upset about me playing tabs and having it be historically inaccurate. I, I understand where they're coming from as younger kids who just like, you know, they always have to be right and they can never just enjoy something for what it is or like enjoy the goofiness of something, you know. The, the funniest thing is in most of my videos I always go, I know this is not historically accurate, but uh, but still, no matter what, you get the comments of like, um, this is not historically accurate, um, actually, this happened, and it, oh my god, it, like, you want to tear your hair out, especially when, okay, like, you know, I don't know all of history, even with a history degree, it's just impossible, no one does, obviously, you know, most history majors have a direct focus, uh, and my focus was... Uh, post-industrial revolution western world and uh, so that's the majority of the courses I took uh, I did take a few uh, ancient courses you know uh, ancient European courses and even some crusades courses which were fun and things like that but those were for fun courses not really for my focus uh, but it's always funny when like you can literally be considered an expert in something uh, because I you know I wrote theses thesi on these things uh, and, and, and devoted four years of my life to them. And you have someone explaining to you in the comment section how you're not right. When you literally know for a fact that they're wrong. But there's no sense in arguing, you know? There, there's literally no sense. Also, a lot of people, they'll just... I'm just, I'm just in, like, complaining mode now while we fight these Germans, by the way. I, I do apologize. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta rant, baby. But the best is when you literally get a copy-paste from Wikipedia uh, from someone who, like, wants to be, like, correct or whatever. Which it's like, yeah, at face values, oftentimes Wikipedia is very helpful. But, again, oftentimes it's not, and there's, like extreme nuance to these topics and, and things like that like you know it's not always history is not always black and white and uh, there is often extreme nuance to these topics and so you know when someone copy and pastes like a wikipedia article or like just quotes what like oversimplified said and things like that it's like guys come on like you could do a little bit more research than that if you're literally gonna complain in the comment section at me being wrong about things in history and i am wrong sometimes you know i am just honestly wrong sometimes and that's fine too but like most of the time i specify this is not historically accurate don't worry about it or it's like not that big of a deal <laughs> or i'm i often am like you know i probably don't remember this super well from this freshman year course i took that wasn't a part of my main studies uh but you know i'm gonna give it my best shot and then people it's, it's like if i got it wrong oh oh it's the end of the world oh baby it is either way we just solidified a nice 
victory there. Uh, and this was heavily German sided in terms of number of troopers. I mean, look how many more troopers they had than us. Their blue were red. Uh, and we still won. I did get 69 kills and three deaths. That's uh, pretty good. And also the 69 number. Uh, guh, 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 guh. Uh, so, you know, not, not too, not too shabby at all. We, uh, we did quite well here in this battle. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I do enjoy making this video. Sorry for the rant. You know, sometimes you just gotta get things off your chest. Sometimes it's just gotta be done, you know? You just gotta get it off your chest. So, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what you thought of the battle, what you thought of my rant. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.